Well, if you're headed out here on date night, you may want to grab an umbrella. You are looking at the possibility of a few little light showers early this evening. A little more substantial rains back on the other side of the Ohio River, but it's coming as we continue through the evening hours. Today it was warm winds howling around. Boy, they were brisk. Now, temperatures will be brisk over the weekend with a wintry feel. Big change is coming. Spring preview for latter part of next week. Good in the fact that it gets warm. Bad in the fact that we could be talking about some stronger thunderstorms for the first time this year. Uh, you are looking at temperatures that were warm because of these southwest winds. Current gusts right now have come down a lot from where they were earlier today. We were 40 to 50 miles per hour with those winds. Now we're 20 to 30. It's still windy but just not the extreme levels we are seeing. So again, you're seeing those around. Pick out your favorite town there, but regardless where you pick, it is warm. You've got a 62 out of Danville, 63 Somerset, uh, Jackson 64, Moorhead 62, Cynthia has dropped off to 58. Right now, Bluegrass Airport, we're still at 60. And that's after a high today, it made 63. Southwest wind 17, our peak wind gust today recorded. 51 miles per hour. That moves a lot of stuff around. Oh, and tomorrow the winds will not be warm out of the southwest. They will be cold out of the northwest. And so highs, mid-30s, the 36 in Georgetown. Uh, you look to the east, 38 in Moorhead, 34 Flemingsburg. A little warmer in the southeast. You've got the 44 out of Hazard, 43 in Salyersville. And around the lakes, 39 in Liberty, 39 in Mount Vernon. It will be cold. Uh, mid-30s tomorrow, near 30 on Sunday. That means we spend the bulk of the day in the 20s. But then look at the middle of the week. Mid 60s are in the offing, but again, thunderstorm chances will be looming as well. Cold front's going to cut through tonight. You notice all those lines? Those are called isobars. When you put a whole bunch of them together, it gets windy, and that's what we endured today. As we continue through the evening hours, that front will slide onto the east. The colder air arrives. What moisture is left? We have a little light rain coming in could fall as a few snowflakes. No big deal. Your Saturday features those northwesterly winds, a lot of clouds around, and a stray snowflake or two cannot be ruled out. Then as we get you towards Saturday night and Sunday, you've got a dying clipper coming our way. What does it do for us? Well, first of all, you see Sunday midnight, again, a little light snow is a possibility across the southeast with a departing system, but then this sucker arrives as we look then into Sunday, and with that, a couple of flurries are going to be a possibility. Talking Super Bowl weather. All right, if we were playing in Cincinnati, it would be 19. It will not be 19 as we look to Los Angeles, where temperatures will be in the mid 80s. For tonight, sky will end up being cloudy. The wind will die down. Some light rains are possible. It couldn't end as a couple of snowflakes will be around 30. Your day tomorrow, cloudy and cold. A few sprinkles, a couple of flurries. We're in the mid 30s and around 30 after a cold start to Sunday. Mid 30s and dry on Valentine's Day. Strong storm possibilities are on Thursday. More LX18 news after this.